shout out to everyone watching us. I actually, I had no idea Sack was going to say Nana Twaso or the Battle of the Lord in a song. And I have no idea that song is an endorsement for MPP or any political party. All I know is Sack sent me a song. I was there one faithful day. I, I literally, I literally find a day he sent me the song and put it out there. He called me okay. one faithful day and... Like I guess I'm joining V I will make you you, you 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 jump on top. From the success camp camp and I'm like, oh why not? I, I'm a big fan of Sack and we are in one industry and I would love to do it. So then send me the beat. When when they sent the beat, it had Sack's rap, the first rap on it. It's a beautiful okay. brand new day. I'm sending Yanko for very reply Tuesday. So yeah. Mm -hmm. It was that whole Thanksgiving vibe. So okay. That's why I wrote the Everybody, give glory. Yes, so what I mean, me, Nani. Follow me, see your baby. And see, oh, the baby. I'm actually talking to God in the song. It's a Thanksgiving song. Right. Little, little did I know that in the second verse, after I, I send my chorus back, I will hear the song again with a different vibe saying, Nana Tuato and um, the battle has told a lot. Like I'm saying, I don't know Sack's motive behind the song. But all I knew... Mm -hmm. that was, it was a Thanksgiving song I'm doing, and I poured my heart out on it as I do on a usual. So yeah, that's right. It. So when did you get to hear those bars re with regards to the uh, the battle is the Lord and all of that? Actually, I actually had the part you were saying Nana Twaso and the battle is the Lord when I was on set, but okay, again I, I couldn't call. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't go to the man and say, "Oh, boss, I beg." I hear the battle is the Lord and Nanatwa, so I be this one. They sound like FDP endorsement. So, what's up? You know, make I know anything? No, because I heard it, but I didn't confront him because this is a management to a management conversation. I think my management should be the ones to call him and go like, "This is what we are hearing." So, boss, what's up? You get it? So, okay. I mean, I let him go that very moment. I just, I just went away. Came home, told my management. I think, I think mm -hmm. there is a right. place that is endorsing Nana in there, and people, people are going to talk about it when the song is out. That is how people are going mm -hmm. to. They'll feel like it's a campaign song or it's endorsing Nana. That's what I told my people. And right. on a real, the song is out, and that's what everybody is talking about. So I just had to let it go and let my management deal with the, their management. Yeah. But when Sam Kodia contacted you, what did he tell you the song was about? It, it's basically about a Thanksgiving song. Yeah, okay. because um, I mean, even the title of the song is Happy Day. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. I mean, we're saying thank you that we've been able to pass through, we've been able to make it small, small, but it's okay. That is all his rap and the chorus is about. It's a Thanksgiving song. So me, little did I know he was going to say that, and then I had, I have no idea that he was going to say that. Because when he sent the song to me to do my chorus, he didn't have anything concerning Nana or NPP or any political party in there. Right. Now, when you realized and you told your management, what was their reaction? Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you know, you know that thing when somebody pulls a, a surprise on you, like <laughs> we all shocked them all, like yeah. So they, they. They, they were like, I, I listened to the song well because they, were, they weren't around when I was teaching. I was just there with a road manager. So okay. they, they, they were like, what you in here? Like, you really hear Nana for you? I like, ah, trust me. I heard Nana. And I heard Nana Twaso. So this media, they sound like an endorsement to me. They were like, okay, let's wait for the whole song to come out. So they had to wait mm -hmm. for the song to come out so that they can get to contact success music. And um, did you contact him? Did your management contact Sarkodie? Yeah, yeah, my manager contacted him. And what did Sarkodie have to say about it? Um, from Success Music, they're saying it is not an endorsement. It is, it is, it, it just has a feel like what he feels is happening, and he wants to put it out there. So it is his personal interest. It, it doesn't. I mean, he, he, he maybe let me just say in quote. You don't go take any contract to do a song for anybody. Yeah. But then there, there are rumors going out there that they gave you, or they paid you 500,000 Ghana cities for that. Charlie, okay, so in, in the first place, nobody paid me money 
because I had no idea what this song is about. Like yes, I said it down. So nobody gave me not give me one seed input. And if um um they gave somebody that five hundred thousand Ghana to me, that's a lot of money. The person should bring my money to me. Because mm. I, I have no idea this is for MTP. I had no idea this is for, and I don't know the truth behind it. So, you see, I'm going to be a woman for my dear mommy, but I'm going to be a woman. And I'm not saying I'm ready to go and do any political party publicly. It's me, Mr. Connor. But there will be a woman, I'm going to be a woman, baby, and the money is for me. I didn't do anything for anybody, so they should bring me my money. But I didn't do anything. I don't have anything. Right. So if you should realize or if you should discover that uh, Sakodi actually did get paid for that, will you sue him to take your part or to take your share? I won't sue him. I'll go to his house. It's, 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 it's not, I'll, I'll go to his house. Because, I mean, if he really took money and I have, and, and the song has my hard work, it has my sweat in it, that means anything is making out of the song, I have a share in there. I'll, 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 I'll go to his house. I'll even show you. I'll show him. I'll go for my thing. He, he, he has something that I own. So I'll go. And what's the percentage you would take if you should realize that probably got paid 700,000, 500,000? What's your percentage? Yeah, my, my percentage will probably be since it's a feature and me, to me, it's still not an MPP song because me, I did a song and I did my good, my, my, I did goodness for a fellow Ghanaian artist. But if somebody did back, they pay that to go do a song that has Kwame Eugene on, a song that needs Kwame Eugene on, then somebody's saying, I don't care whether uh, um, it's from MPP, NDC, CPP, PPP. I mean, I'm not talking about politics. If somebody does sack money, say, oh, thank you for doing this song because it has Kwame Eugene's voice on and the chorus, and the chorus is nice, that means that money that sack has, my part being inside, I'll go for my share. We'll actually talk. Um, how much percentage I can get from it, and I'll take my share. But Kwame, you said you were not ready for an endorsement or to endorse any political party. However, yeah. it's out there looking for things you have endorsed a political party. Now, going for your share will mean that you have actually endorsed a party. You see what I said? You, you, if you listen to what I said, I said, I'm not talking about any political party. I did a Thanksgiving song. And if somebody okay. is out there saying thank you, that oh thank you for this beautiful song this is for you because Kwame's chorus is very nice it means it doesn't concern any political party to me it means somebody okay. has my wages but okay I mean first what will be all somebody's got my wages it's and, like and, 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 and yeah because you mean first all so me it's not, okay. it's not about any political party for me it's about if there is a money out there for Kwame for singing this beautiful chorus that is what i'm going for it's not about any political party Call me, were you paid for singing this chorus? I wasn't I wasn't actually paid for singing it because I'm sure I mean on a normal on a normal um 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 spreadsheets are gonna go back and forth for for streaming purposes. If I say streaming okay. purposes, you see the YouTube and the iTunes and the Spotify, we will have probably um um percentages go each way any political song you get it but back at right for streaming purposes yeah it's done in every music so he has to he has to have my share being wired to me that's it are you comfortable with the fact that um it's out there and um you know as you being a part of this political campaign song are you comfortable with it i'm just not comfortable with the fact that there is there is a situation going on out there that I wasn't prepared for. Okay. You know what I mean, Rosen? Mm -hmm. There is there is an issue going out there that I wasn't prepared for and I have nothing to do about it because I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to have this conversation we're having right now, Rosen. I, I wasn't right. ready to say, oh, party B, I say, and a party B, I say, I wasn't ready for it because I didn't go for any money. I didn't have any conversation about doing a song for any political party and I had no idea.